Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CAR Entertainment, I am your host Dylan Hamilton and today guys we're going to be going back to photosynthesis because this is a video that uh, I have checked out and we actually forgot to bring you so we're bringing it to you right now it's going to be about gross and net photosynthesis to be calculations as a part of our A22 biology and measure videos it's a very short video, that's probably why we missed it it's literally probably going to be under 2 minutes, maybe even under a minute because we're going to go straight into it right now and it's only 2 slides so the equation is gross photosynthesis is calculated by adding net photosynthesis and respiration because obviously gross photosynthesis is net photosynthesis without take or sorry yeah gross photosynthesis is net photosynthesis without taking away the respiration so it's basically just photosynthesis plus the respiration added on so net photosynthesis then means gross photosynthesis um, take away respiration that's your net photosynthesis so the, this is used to provide information on carbohydrates that are produced by a single point or even a part of a plant. Uh, it's considered in terms of CO2 or O2 exchange or even change in organic content in a plant. With low light intensity, CO2 will be given out and the rate of respiration will exceed the rate of photosynthesis. The light compensation point you see on a graph, which is whenever uh, the crossover point between respiration and photosynthesis, this is because respiration and photosynthesis are taking place at the same rate. And for plants to grow, the net photosynthesis must exceed respiratory losses. Like I said, very short video. There you go. Hopefully, you know you understand gross and net photosynthesis. I've been Dylan Hamilton from CAO Entertainment, and I'll see you next time.